Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. You know, in American culture, it seems like the iconic traditional wedding ring is a gold ring with one or more diamonds set into it. But if you think about the symbolism behind those elements, you know, gold is kind of synonymous with currency. You know, it's always been symbolic of wealth. And diamond, well, jewelers love to tell you that diamonds are forever. But scientifically, nothing could be further from the truth. Uh, diamond is just a form of carbon, and so it is capable of oxidizing to form carbon dioxide, a colorless, odorless, and potentially poisonous gas. Uh, at ambient conditions, the oxidation of diamond it proceeds at a negligible rate. Uh, you know, a diamond sitting in a vault is not going to lose more than a few atoms of carbon to oxidation per year. Uh, but at elevated temperatures and under abrasive conditions, that can change. Uh, in machining applications, single point diamond cutting tools are actually considered inferior to things like cubic boron nitride for hard turning applications because even though PCBN is only about half as hard as diamond, it doesn't suffer from the uh, oxidative erosion that diamond does under those conditions. And so, tragically, I'm afraid that the gold and diamond ring really is a very accurate symbol of a lot of American marriages. They're kind of based on wealth and materialism, and as soon as things heat up, they just kind of evaporate. And so, as far as elemental symbolism is concerned, I think a much better material for fabrication of wedding rings would be titanium. It's light, it's strong, and it's considered to be one of the most corrosion-resistant materials available. But whereas most other corrosion-resistant materials, like gold and platinum, are corrosion-resistant just because they don't really react with oxygen, Titanium is what we call a passivating material, meaning that it's actually very reactive, but the outer layer of titanium atoms on a titanium object will react with oxygen to form this sort of impenetrable ceramic oxide coating that then prevents any further oxidation of the material. And so titanium is impervious to corrosion because of its self-sacrificing nature, as it were. And so today I thought I would do a quick demonstration on how to machine a titanium wedding ring. So I'm going to start by measuring the finger on which the ring is to ride at its widest point with a pair of calipers. As a rule of thumb, or in this case maybe a rule of ring finger, we'll want to add about 10% to our measurement for clearance. And now we'll bore a hole that size in a bar of grade 5 titanium. Now, the other dimensions of the ring we can pretty much just cut to whatever looks good. And so, after a little final polishing with the Dremel, there is our finished product.
Thanks for watching the Idahoan Show.